Well, my ministry eh, for the last 12 or thir and 13 years here in Down and Connor has been as a hospital chaplain. I did some training in, in CPE for hospital chaplains eh, oh, 20, 20 years before in, in, in the United States and did and worked as a chaplain as well as a curate in the parish of Goodmays in England. So when I was appointed after my father's death to uh, Down in Connor and to, to the Vin Vincentian House in Belfast, where I was nearer in a sense of the family, I was very happy to begin work in Musgrave Park Hospital, where I still am. And I'm on a team of priest chaplains, uh, working with the sisters and other lay chaplains, and with an ecumenical chaplaincy, with the chaplains from the other uh, churches both in Musgrave and in the City Hospital and in the Royal. Uh, recently we, we were on a, a cancer centre pilgrimage to, to Lourdes and I love going to Lourdes and bringing uh, the sick with us. Uh, it, it's a great place for the sick. But my normal, normal, my normal Mass on a Sunday morning is in Musgrave Park, a small congregation, 20 is a crowd. <laughs> But we bring Holy Communion to others, to, the, to those who cannot get to Mass. Uh, and and I, my, the bread and butter of my ministry is listening to the sick, the elderly sick, the young sick, people getting surgery for knees and hips. And those with, uh, it's, it's just lovely to, whatever, whatever uh, sick person's experience of life and, and, and suffering, to be there with them, and especially with their faith, to, to Listen to the story to anoint. I'm constantly anointing the sick and giving Holy Communion and bringing, in a sense, the, the healing power of Jesus to them in their situation. As of Vincentian, I'm d delighted to work in this diocese with, the, with diocesan priests and help in parishes. This morning, I was assisting in pre uh, for a, a preparation for Irish First Holy Communion t tomorrow a little group of 18 children. Just lovely to, to be there with, uh, with them. To, uh, I'm looking forward to that tomorrow. Uh, but the Vincentian Charism is, is the poor, uh, 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 the urban poor. The, so if I've got uh, visiting prisoners or, or, or travelers or, uh, or the sick who are another type of, of, of poor, uh, uh, this fulfills a sense of Vincent de Paul's uh, call and gift. So I, I belong to, a, I live in community with, with, with uh, belong to, a, we, we live together and we pray together as, as priests and uh, brothers. And uh, I belong to a worldwide community. So even though we're a small number here, and maybe an aging group in Ireland, we have lots of younger members in other provinces. And uh, assisting as a translator a few years ago at our General Assembly in Paris, I got this you know, great sense that the gospel is to be preached to peoples everywhere. Uh, so I'm delighted to be trying to witness to the gospel and live it out. And be, uh, we, we preach it even without words. Isn't that what Francis of Assisi said? So try to preach the gospel just by, with a smile, with a listening ear, a compassionate ear to whatever the, the, the person's uh, need of, is and try and find the brokenness of God in them. And, from my own brokenness, I think, I hope to be able to be compassionate and, and caring in response.